Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo 3DS, N64, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android and PC with Citra, and Citra just released their progress report. Now, I'm just going over this at a high level, and it's very well written with a lot of detail. I'll drop a link to it in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. One of the first things here was the addition of the option to download system files from NUS. NUS stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Nintendo Update Service, depending on how you want to interpret that. There are three different options. Minimal, which just downloads the minimum files to run games. Old 3DS and New 3DS, which will download full firmware, including the home menu. In addition to that, there's a setting to select the region firmware, and you can find this in your configuration settings under System and System, and it should be right at the bottom. And if you want to see Citra's home menu showcase video, I'll drop a link to it in the description below, and feel free to check it out. It's currently unlisted, so you won't find it on their channel. Once you've got everything set up to boot, the home menu is pretty simple and straightforward. Click on File and boot your home menu and then your region that you've installed. For Android specifically, there was a ton of work done around scope storage. At a high level, scope storage affects newer versions of Android, and as a result, Citra was getting a lot of shader stutter. The developers had to be clever in order to fix this. On top of that, the UI for Citra on Android was majorly overhauled, from splash screens to animations to themed icons to edge-to-edge -to -edge displays. You name it, it was pretty much done here. And there was even more stuff for Android, for example, opening cheats by long pressing on a game, which is super handy if you're having cheats that are crashing a game. For those of you running Mac OS, there were a whole bunch of fixes here, including camera fixes, global settings being in accessible and more. And on top of all of that, Citra as a whole had a whole bunch of bug fixes, graphical improvements, and some more features, including app images on Linux. The entire Citra team has been on fire these last few months, and this emulator has been improving in leaps and bounds. I can't wait to see where this one goes next, and I do recommend checking out that progress report. Moving on, and we're talking about N64 emulation on PC with Rosalie's Mupin GUI, which just got a brand new update. So as of this video, version 0.4.4 is the latest update. There's a whole bunch of bug fixes and some very interesting additions. They've added support for joysticks and triggers for hotkeys. They've added hotkeys for increasing and decreasing the save state slot. They've added hotkeys for switching controller packs, and they've improved the dead zone and sensitivity code. RMG is 100% free, it's open source, and it's available for Windows and Linux. I'll drop a link to it in the description below, and feel free to check it out. Next up, we're quickly talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android and PC with Makage. After yesterday's video, a lot of people in the comments section were saying Makage was fake. I tend to disagree heavily with this. Yes, we've got nothing to test right now, so we don't know if it's actually real. But at the same time here, this is very different than a lot of fake 3DS emulators out there. Neobrain is the developer of this one. They are a founder of Citra. They know exactly what they're doing. They're a very talented developer. And secondly, a few years back on the Patreon page, you could actually pick up a test version of Makage. It was a very early build and nowhere near as good as it supposedly is today, but at the same time, it existed. Honestly, my advice here is just to be patient. Let Neobrain develop this on their free time and Makage will be released whenever it's ready. If you want an alternative to Citra, there are some other options out there. You can check out MU3DS, or you can check out Panda3DS, and I'll drop a link to both of them in the description below. And speaking about checking stuff out, next up we're talking about Retroid, which appears to be launching yet another Retroid Pocket. This one is very similar to the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, except the D-pad and joystick are switched, and... We've got a couple extra buttons and probably a much better CPU. Now, as much as I love brand new products, and don't get me wrong there, I'm not a fan of how quickly Retroid is introducing brand new products to the market. I mean, they just introduced the Retroid Pocket Flip, and literally just introduced the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus Metal Edition. And now they're introducing something brand new. Cool it just a little bit. Let your customers enjoy what they just bought as opposed to regretting it because you're already introducing something else. 
Maybe spend a little extra time in product development to make sure everything is okay and there aren't any shortcomings for the device. And also work really hard to improve the current software on your current devices. That's just my suggestion and opinion. However, I may be off base here. Let me know your thoughts about the new Retroid Pocket in the comments below and Retroid's development cycle in the comments below. And speaking about improvements, next up here we're talking about Sonic Free Riders. And there's a patch that lets you play this without using the Kinect. Now this patch currently works on the actual Xbox 360 and also in Xenia. However, on the Xbox 360, you do need the Kinect plugged in for this to work. And on Xenia, sometimes it may softlock. But you can play the game with a controller instead of the Kinect. And in my opinion, it may be a much better way to play the game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll drop a link to this YouTube video in the description below and do check it out. All of the relevant links are in the description of that video. And speaking about relevant, next up we're talking about VirtualBox. And VirtualBox 7.0.10 just released. It's got some bug fixes and some new features. There's initial support for OpenGL 4.1 and initial support for Linux kernel 6.4. I'll drop a link to the change log in the description below and feel free to check it out. Next up, we're quickly talking about NVIDIA and NVIDIA has just dropped driver version 535.86.05 for Linux systems. This one's got a whole bunch of bug fixes here and something you may want to take a look at if you game on Linux quite a bit. And speaking about Linux, or I guess even Windows for that matter, next up we're talking about framework laptops. And Framework Laptop 16 is now up for pre-order. It's a modular laptop that you can configure to your heart's content. These things are not cheap though. They start at $18.99. I decided to have a bit of fun here and configured a system of my own. And the price turned out to be $3,431. At this price point, I'm okay with my current laptop. Cool concept though. And speaking about concepts, next up we're talking about Vampire Survivors. And if you're interested in this game, there's a documentary that just released. It's only 30 minutes long and it's highly entertaining and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Feel free to check it out. And last up here, we're talking about Intel and ASUS. A short while back, Intel announced that they were going to discontinue the NUC. And it appears that ASUS is going to step up and continue manufacturing them. As always, I'll drop a link to the entire article in the description below. And there's something very interesting here I wanted to draw attention to. It says, under the proposed agreement, ASUS will receive a non-exclusive license. This means that possibly other companies will end up making a Nook as well. So the Nook goes from being cancelled to possibly bigger than ever. Interesting. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.